Hello viewers, welcome to CAD Knowledge YouTube channel. Today, I will discuss about AutoCAD Draftsman Interview MCQ, Episode 2. Let's get started. Okay. We will start from Episode 2. Uh, the topic name is Creating Drawings. <coughs> okay. So, we can start with MCQ 1. First question is, which symbol can be used to specify angle for making an inclined line okay so right answer is less than sign is the correct answer how we can see from autocad if you want to draw a line activate the line command especially by the first point you can put the uh, length okay uh, say uh, length is 4 okay then we can uh, input the less than sign okay then it will denote the de uh, angle degree so if we if we put 30 then enter the line is created uh, with length 4 and angle 30 okay so we can uh, easily understand from this common of mcq1 so we can go mcq2 Okay. AutoCAD circle fly out on draw panel offers how many ways to make a circle so what is the answer so answer is six ways to make a circle how we can see from AutoCAD here is the circle command if we click in the drop down menu then you can see uh, center radius center diameter two point three point 10 10 radius 10 10 10 10 10 10 means tangent 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 okay so from here you can see that 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 ways to make a circle okay so right answer is 6 okay next slide we can go mcq3 which option will you use to make a circle which is tangent uh, to a line and circle and has certain radius value okay so where is the uh, four option two point circle three point circle tangent tangent radius circle tangent 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 circle okay so what is the uh, right answer tangent tangent radius circle to make a circle which is tangent to a line and circle and has certain radius value okay so we can see from AutoCAD. Suppose uh, we can draw a line. Okay, this is a line. This is a line, <coughs> and this is the circle. Okay. So if you uh, want to make a circle with uh, this line and this circle so we can use 10 10 radius common that means tangent tangent radius click this option click this line click this circle and you can input the radius value so i can input uh, radius 0.5 okay then press enter so the circle has been created so i think you understand the mcq3 okay so we can go mcq4 What is the common for starting rectangle? R, R, E, R, E, C, R, E, T. What is the right answer? So we all know that R, E, C is the common for starting rectangle in AutoCAD. How we can see from AutoCAD? Okay. So it is. If we write R, E, C, then rectangle common will be appear and press enter. Okay then you can draw a rectangle from rec common so we can go to the next slide next mcq actually mcq5 the shortcut for starting polyline command is p pl ple po what is the right answer right answer is pl okay so how we can see 
if we are uh, type p l the polyline command will be appeared then press enter okay i think you got it so we can go to the next slide <coughs> What is the maximum number of sites we, uh, with which a polygon can be made in AutoCAD? 12, uh, 512, 1024. There is no limitation on number of sites. We all know that polygon has many sites. Okay. So, uh, 1024, that means 1024 is the maximum number of sites with which a polygon can be made in AutoCAD how we can see uh, click here uh, you can see the polygon command okay so here enter number of sites you can see so if you put uh, 2000 2000 press enter requires an integer between 3 and 1024 <laughs> from here you can easily say that see that uh, the maximum limit is 1024 okay so so you can polygon command activate inter side 1024 then press enter center of the polygon inscribed or some script anyone then you can this is the polygon okay polygon not circle this is the polygon okay we can remove it we can go to the next slide uh, that will be on in the image shown here the polygon is inscribed or subscribed about the green circle okay uh, so what what is the meaning of inscribed and subscribed inscribed means the polygon will uh, be in the circle and subscribe means the polygon will be out of the circle okay so here is polygon out of the circle then the answer will be subscribed okay how can uh, how, uh, what is the we can see from autocad okay so suppose we draw a circle with the radius of 2 ok so now we want to draw a polygon activate the polygon command then enter number of sides here number of side is 1 2 3 4 5 ok we can put here 5 then press enter then specify center point of polygon we can specify the center point inscribed or subscribed okay so if we click here inscribed and uh, specify the radius we know that the radius of the circle is 2 okay so put here 2 and press enter that is inscribed that means it will create inside the circle okay then uh, from here we can easily understand that uh, what is inscribed now we can draw a polygon some script polygon okay so click the polygon enter the number of side 5 press enter then specify the center of polygon <coughs> specify the center of polygon then some script and uh, specify the radius of the circle so, so we can specify the radius to press enter now it created as some script okay then uh, we can go to the next slide mcq8 is it possible to make a rectangle with fillets on all four vertices yes it's possible okay how can it possible go here activate the rectangle command so uh, at the below in the you can see there is a option fillet 
rectangle specify uh, rectangle specify first center point here you can see a option fillet so activate the fillet command okay so if you want to uh, uh, make a rectangle with point 2 fillet so right here point 2 press enter then you can make a rectangle see so it's possible to make a rectangle with uh, all four vertices okay we can remove it now and make a rectangle with zero fillet now you can draw without fillet a rectangle okay so we can go to the mcq 9 can you use polygon tool to make a polygon with a known edge length without using inscribed or subscribed circle as a reference yes we can make how so activate the polygon command then enter the number of side in uh, you can uh, input the number 8 suppose press enter and uh, specify center uh, and below you can see here is a option is click here is common okay so if we uh, input the value only one is suppose uh, specify the first in point and suppose the value is one press enter then the polygon will be created with the length of one okay instead of inscribed and subscribed okay we can go to the next mcq remove it mcq 10 to make the arc as shown in the image here which arc command can be most effectively used three point arc start in radius center start in center start length so here is the arc so how it can be created with start in radius common okay we can see from autocad uh, suppose this is a rectangle common we can draw a rectangle then go to arc common here you can see the 11 type of arc maybe 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 yes 11 from here you can uh, specify the start in radius where it is start in radius yes here click here then click the first point start point end point and specify the radius so we can click here or we can input the radius also okay then it will be created so we can easily draw it with the command of start in radius okay uh, that's all for today we will release our episode 3 soon uh, stay with us till then bye bye